Hi, everyone. I'm Steve here with the Gut Girl. Nicole, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. All right. If you guys like nutrition stuff and workout information, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, and we'll tell you at the end how you can get a, a hold of Nicole if you want to find out more about her. Um, so we're going to talk about specifically what you don't eat. Now, most of the things you don't eat, I'm not going to eat either. So let's just see what happens here. What's the first thing that comes to mind uh, when I, I want to know what you don't eat? Okay, so the first one, and everybody gives me a hard time about this one, but because this isn't the run of the mill list, it's not, you know, I don't eat donuts, I don't, I don't do those kind of things, but this is the more tighter um, list of things that I do not do um, that you'd be surprised of. I do not, it never even enters my home of oatmeal. Oatmeal does not come into my house, um, not for my kids, not, you know, not for a quick fix. It is the highest, one of the highest sprayed crops for glyphosate and Roundup. And I, and the reason why I say I have done a ton of research into this, oatmeal also, you know, used to be a plant that's this tall, now is a plant that's this tall. And the reason why that is, is because we went through that whole craze of oatmeal is so heart healthy and it'll lower your cholesterol and all that kind of stuff. Well, they had to make it be bigger and better so that they could produce it. And what they do is they cut it and they dry it now with glyphosate. So I do not trust any, I don't even trust it that it says organic or that it says glyphosate free. I just don't because you'd be hard pressed to convince me otherwise. Um, yeah, and let me just say right there, I don't eat oatmeal either. I mean, it's rare. As a matter of fact, I ate it last week. But it is the I'm I'm trusting a little bit and I'm also <laughs> going you know what to me to put it in perspective when I do that that's like eating a birthday cake. Oh totally. The, you know. I so I'm acknowledging that I might not be eating something that even though it says organic and all those things glyphosate free it on the package, mm -hmm. I don't 100% trust it either, but also I don't eat it because of the high carb content exactly. for me and everyone's different, but I hadn't eaten that in over a year. And it's just ironic that you said that because I did just eat some <laughs> about a week ago, but that is not, like I said, that was like, you know what? I might as well have said, I'm going to go eat my daughter's birthday cake. Totally. 100%. You know, yeah. so I just did it, you know, shame on me, even though it says organic and all that. So yep. what else? Uh, seed oils. You guys all know how I feel about seed oils, but I do not, I do not bring seed oils into my home. It just does not happen. And rarely, rarely will I have something that's fried out because I know it's in a seed oil. It's cheaper. And I don't know how long those things have been. It's rancid to, rancid to begin with, but then think about how long those have been in the fryer. It totally grosses me out. And it is the quickest way to get sick. So um, the other thing is shredded cheese. I do not ever buy shredded cheese. They put sawmill in to the shredded cheese so that it stays preserved on the shelves for longer. And that will gum up the system and create a bacteria in your gut that is not fun to kill. So I don't do it. I grate all my own cheese if I'm going to have a cheese. Yeah, I also, my wife and I, we grate cheese. She buys it from this place called Azure, which gets specially delivered. And she picks it up once a month. And it's the best of the best. And we grate it. We had some last night. And the seed oils... The only seed oils that go in my mouth is if it's snuck by and it's in something I'm not aware of. Yeah, me um, too. <laughs> but yeah, the seed oils. Do you think that the seed oils are one of the top three culprits of causing the health issues and obesity that we have? 100%. Top yeah. three, right? Yep, top three. Absolutely. Yeah. So... I'm with you so far. I didn't think I would be off too much, but what else? You got anything else? So pre-cut and bagged vegetables, fruits. I do not do those. 
I, because if you think about that, first of all, if a ton of them, if they're pre-cut and put in it to a container, so it's easier for you and more, you know, more efficient, first of all, they're more expensive. So cut your own. Like if you're talking about, if you're screaming about the cost of food, stop doing that. Second of all, they put a, uh, um, synthetic chemical on it to make sure it stays preserved because if anybody ever cuts or chops their own vegetables, they go bad very fast, but those are sitting on the shelf. I do not ever do that. I cut all my own vegetables. Yeah. I'm with you on that. I'm same and, uh, same with fruit, right? Yep. Same with fruit and nine times out of 10, that's, this is on my list. Also, I don't buy non organic fruit. And I don't, and if it has a plastic over the top, like it's been cut in half and it's plastic on it, I immediately take it home. I cut off the piece that the plastic has been on and I chop up the rest. Yeah, that's um, extreme health right there, Nicole. <laughs> and Yeah, I we're, uh, we're weird. Oh, totally. we're so weird. I know. <laughs> Yeah. And non-organic meat. I never, ever buy non-organic meat because of um, the antibiotics that go into them. I know that most most meat is going to have some type of antibiotic because you can't get away from it in all of that. But I won't have a non-organic where it's uncontrolled and constant. I did a short on... Uh... I've done some surveys, like I did one on TRT. That was interesting and you know, kind of a rabbit trail. But 54% <laughs> of the people that answered the survey said that TRT is not safe. And 46% uh, said it was. Now, I would say that it's not only safe, it's healthy if your testosterone is low. Absolutely. But let me get away from that rabbit trail and ask you if you eat um that meat what the beyond meat do you eat that not a chance it would never ever be put in my mouth ever unless you're holding me down it is all chemical and man-made not a chance that's scary Super that's scary. scary to think what could possibly be in that stuff it's the impossible burger <laughs> and yeah i i do a lot of shorts and stuff, and I asked people, which would you eat? We did one, remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which would you eat if you had to? Yeah. Super well, cool. we didn't do the impossible meat, but I here's what I feel about that stuff. Donut, margarine, poison, right? That's Absolutely. like, I would never eat that, but I would eat it over the impossible meat. Oh. As a matter of fact, I would eat a nail before I ate impossible meat. I'm right there. Seriously. With you. Never, ever will. I, I mean, I would grind it up or whatever and eat it somehow, yeah, the nail, I'd before I'd eat. I'd myself from metals than that. Yeah. All right. So, you got anything else that sticks out that uh, you wouldn't eat? One. I do okay. not eat table salt. Table salt is what everybody out there is, all the doctors are complaining about. What they don't tell you is that things like Himalayan salt, Celtic salt, those kind of things are extremely good for you and they're actually good for high blood pressure people. Um, but iodized table salt is the one that should be touted as not good and is not good for high blood pressure, is not good for thyroid patients, those kind of things. So it's just a testimony to know what you're doing with your body. Pick the ones that are the right ones for you. Yeah. The, the salt is a big one. And, um, we have both of those kinds that you mentioned. We got bags full of it, the Celtic salt and all that special ordered. And when you can't just go to a restaurant and pour the salt no. on your food, you, I'm sorry, you can't do it. No. So my wife always has our little salt container and pepper container, and we know that it's healthy what's in there. It's, it comes in a little metal container thing, and that's what we put on our eggs or whatever we're eating. So, yep. um Exactly. It, it, it can get confusing because salt is healthy. It totally um, is. But not if you're getting it off the table at a restaurant. Yep. Absolutely. Or if you're buying it in a bag at the grocery store. Right. Absolutely. So those things need to be avoided. So, Nicole, if people want to find out more about what you do, your program, and how you help people with their health, 
How do they get a hold of you? You can reach me at the gut girl one at gmail.com and I will give you a hundred dollars off the program that I, that I will do with you. And all my social media platforms are the gut girl NB. All right. Thanks for being with us, Nicole. Thank you for having me. 